It's been an intriguing first half of the F1 season, with the battle at the top of the driver standings really beginning to heat up. With Hamilton vying for his third consecutive DHL Fastest Lap award, it's Nico Rosberg who currently leads the way with five fastest laps so far. Hamilton is chasing with two, while Kvyat, Hulkenberg and Ricardo all have one each. Claiming the fastest lap of the race is dependent on more than just driver skill, car performance or setup. Race strategy, tyres and fuel load are all contributing factors which means that as the race progresses, we often see the fastest laps set soon after the final pit stop when the drivers have fresh tyres and lower fuel loads. Here we've selected two laps from the season that really stand out and illustrate what it takes to claim the DHL Fastest Lap Award. First we look back at Hamilton's fastest lap in Monaco. At 3.3 kilometres, the Monaco Street Circuit is the shortest track on the calendar. Although not the quickest track of the season, with average speeds of only 160 km an hour, the circuit has a lot of elevation changes, which means it's tricky to have a stable car in a lot of places. Drivers have on average 47 gear changes per lap and are only on full throttle for 34% of the time. But with no margin for error, concentration, commitment and bravery are key around Monaco. We've identified two sections that are critical for a fast lap time. First, the early stages of a lap, climbing up the hill towards Massenet around Casino Square before descending towards the entrance of the tunnel. The second section is the fast swimming pool chicane down to the tricky Raskas corner. Monaco requires a car setup with a high degree of downforce as the straights are relatively short and drivers need aerodynamic grip to attack the corners. Having started third on wet tyres, Hamilton opted not to change to intermediates, took the lead and went straight to the ultra softs on lap 30. He posted the fastest lap of 1 minute 17.939 on lap 71 with a top speed of 270 km per hour. Riding on board with Lewis Hamilton, let's pick out some key corners of his fastest lap. As you climb up the hill towards Massenet and around the Hotel de Paris, you can see the confidence and the nerve he has to go over the brow and commit at high speed to the left-hander before turning right past Casino Square. It is so, so important to get the nose into the apex as you go down through Mirabeau. Hamilton now comes towards the two chicanes around the swimming pool and once again the Mercedes allows him to attack the curbs better than his rivals and he can carry great speed through here without upsetting the balance of the car. Next, we're going to look at current DHL Fastest Lap Award leader Nico Rosberg who recorded the fastest lap at Silverstone in the British Grand Prix. Silverstone is an old-school fast and flowing circuit. It's changed its layout several times over the years, but it remains one of the great high-speed challenges of Formula 1. It has fast-sweeping sections like Cops, Maggots, Beckets and Stowe, complemented by slower, more technical corners like the Vale, Brooklands and the Farm. We've identified one critical section for achieving the DHL fastest lap and requiring precision and grip through some challenging low-speed corners as well as commitment and balance through fast-flowing corner combinations. Car setup at Silverson is a trade-off between downforce and straight-line speed. The straights are reasonably long, so drivers need to have a car that's not creating too much drag, but through the high-speed corners, they require as much aerodynamic help as possible. Having overtaken Verstappen for second place, Nico Rosberg set a time of 135.548 on lap 44 in an effort to chase down the leader Hamilton. Coming down the Wellington Strait, you've got the BRDC on the right, but you're looking left into Brooklands. Very important to get the nose of the car towards the inside curb. And then you go right at the long, long right-hander at Luffield. Very, very important to get good traction out of here as you accelerate through Woodcut past the old pits and heading towards Cops Corner. Wind direction makes a massive difference, but you throw the car into Cops. Very, very tricky here at the apex as the wind normally hits you side on. The balance of the Mercedes working beautifully as Rosberg climbs towards Maggots and Beckett's, going left and then right, going left again, and then the final right-hander at Beckett's before you open up the steering wheel through Chapel and onto the hangar straight. This is so crucial to getting the DHL fastest lap. Looking ahead to the upcoming Hungarian Grand Prix, it's Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel who's the defending champion, while Red Bull Racing's Daniel Ricciardo claimed the DHL fastest lap. 
Join us in a few races time for an update on the battle for the 2016 DHL Fastest Lap Award. Can Rosberg maintain his lead over a charging Lewis Hamilton?